Salt on a Bird's Tail There was once a little girl called Alice who loved birds very much. She fed them all through the winter and she gave them water to drink and a bowl to bath in during the summer. But not one of the birds would let Alice hold it in her hand so that she might feel the warm body and the fluffy feathers. I do so wish the birds love me enough to trust me to pick them up gently, Alice said to her Uncle Jim, who was also very fond of birds. I've never held a bird in my hand, Uncle, and they do look as if they would be so lovely to hold for a moment or two. I'd like to feel them against my neck, all soft and warm. Well, said Uncle Jim with a laugh, don't you know how to catch a bird, Alice? Just put salt on its tail and you've got it. Oh, really, Uncle Jim? said Alice in delight. I'll try then. So Alice went and got some salt to put on the bird's tail. Now, where are there any birds? thought the little girl. Oh, there's a sparrow at the lawn. She took the salt and tried sprinkling it on the sparrow. But oh, how the sparrow got frightened and flew away. She tried this many times on many birds, but they kept getting frightened and flew away in fright. Father, said Alice, it's too bad. The birds see me and get a fright. Really, it's silly of them because they know I'm their friend. Then she thought it would be a good idea if she fetched some breadcrumbs and threw them down. The birds would come to get them and she could perhaps quickly throw a pinch of salt on their tails as they picked about. So she fetched some stale pieces of bread and broke them up into crumbs. Soon the lawn was white with crumbs and birds called to one another to come down and feed. Alice was sitting on the grass, her bag of salt beside her. The birds came nearer and nearer. Alice had a pinch of salt ready. She suddenly threw it among the birds, hoping that some might fall on the tail of one of them. Then it would not be able to fly away and she could pick it up and love it. But all the birds were scared when Alice raised her hand and threw something. They thought that she was throwing a stone and they flew off with chirrups and squawks. They could not understand why Alice was doing such queer things. She always seemed so friendly. The birds thought, why is she throwing things at us today? Alice was very upset that all the birds had flown. She went under the lilac bush and had a good cry. It's too bad, she sobbed. I do so want to catch a bird by putting salt on its tail, but none of them will let me. Now, a small elf lived in the bush, and he was most astonished to hear what Alice said. He was fond of the little girl, though she had never seen him. But he had often watched Alice giving food to the birds and pouring fresh water into their bathing bowl. Dear me, he said to himself, what a funny thing to cry about. Whoever heard of catching birds by putting salt on their tails? Well, now I wonder if I can do anything about it. Now the elf had a friend. It was the little brown head sparrow who had her nest in the hawthorn bush at the end of the garden. When Alice had crept out from the lilac bush to try again with her salts, the elf flew quickly to the head sparrow who was sitting on her nest. Head sparrow, said the elf, will you do something for me? Of course, said the little brown bird. Well, listen, said the elf, there's a little girl in the garden and she wants to catch a bird by putting salt on its tail. She is very unhappy because she can't. Now do go and hop about in front of her and let her put salt up on your little brown tail. Then let her pick you up and hold you gently against her face so that she can feel how soft and warm you are. But I should be afraid, said the head sparrow in alarm. 
You needn't be, said the elf. She's the kindest girl in the village. Do it, please. But what about my eggs? asked the head sparrow. I'll sit on them for a while and keep them warm, said the elf. So the head sparrow flew off and the elf cuddled himself down on the bright blue eggs. Off went the head sparrow, still feeling very nervous. She saw Alice patiently waiting on the grass with her little bag of salt in front of her. The head sparrow flew down and pecked up a crumb. She went nearer and nearer to Alice. Alice took a pinch of salt. Her eyes gleamed with delight. She felt sure she could put some on the little bird's tail. She threw the salt. It fell on the head sparrow's tail like snow. The little bird stayed quite still as if she were caught and could not move. Alice picked her up in her hand. Oh, she cried in delight, I've caught a bird at last. Oh, you dear soft little thing, you're as warm as new made bread. Oh, how soft you are against my cheeks. At first, the head sparrow was afraid, but she then felt how gentle and loving Alice was. She no longer felt nervous then. She stayed quite still in the little girl's hand, her tiny heart beating like a quick ticking of a small clock. I don't want to hurt or frighten you, said Alice. I only wanted to feel you. Now you shall fly away again. Have you a nest, little bird? How I would love to see it. The sparrow took Alice to her nest and showed her the nest and the beautiful eggs. She even met the elf who was there and had a great time. Alice rushed in to tell her mother and Uncle Jim was there too. Oh mother, oh Uncle Jim, cried Alice. I caught a bird by putting salt on its tail and I held it in my hand and it showed me its nest with, a, with an elf too. How Uncle Jim laughed. My dear child, he said, it's just a joke that you can catch birds by putting salt on their tails. You can't really. But I did, I tell you, cried Alice. I did, I did. Yes, she certainly did, didn't she? I wonder if you'd be as lucky. You never know. Thank you. <laughs>